today we are at Suisen no Sato Park and we're gonna take a look around. Today I'm joined by an intern. Hello, my name is Mo. Please enjoy the video. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Today's tour of Suisen no Sato Park starts here at Suisen Dome. Suisen means daffodil in Japanese. The flower is Fui Prefecture's symbol flower. We will be following the intern as she is guided around by a city worker. The main part of Suisen Dome is its greenhouse. The greenhouse has many different plants, so the scenery changes based on when the guests visit. There is also a refrigerated area that houses daffodils all year long. Daffodils usually bloom during December to January, so they must be kept cold. I was allowed to plant some of the daffodils. I am used to seeing daffodils, but it was my first time planting them. Here is our finished part. Suisen Dome has exhibits that display different daffodil related items. The facility also hosts different crafting events throughout the year. We tried out the key holder making experience. I enjoyed the craft very much. Here is my completed key holder. Aside from the key holder, guests can also make coasters. One of the city staff tried his hand in making one. Here are all of our completed items. The other part of Suisen no Sato Park is Koshino Furusato Shiryokan. Various artifacts and displays show how locals lived in the past. Next to the museum are greenhouses where the daffodils for Suisen Dome are grown. It is amazing that they can grow daffodils all year long.
During the winter, wild daffodils bloom all across the coast, including within the park. The fields of daffodils are a sight to see. Okay, so that was Suisen no Sato Park. How was it? I like it very much. Okay, so if you found this place interesting, please come give it a visit. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.